A legal challenge by Republicans concerning the new congressional district map has been thrown out. Yeah, now that means the map drawn up by the state Supreme Court last month will stand. Political editor John Delano has more on what exactly this means. The new congressional districts for Pennsylvania stand, says a federal court panel tossing out a lawsuit filed by eight Republican congressmen, including local reps Mike Kelly of Butler and Keith Rothfuss of Sewickley. It's a win for voters, actually. Shortly thereafter, the U.S. Supreme Court rejected a Republican effort to stay or postpone the new map for another year. Attorney Cliff Levine, who represents Democrats, says this upholds the state Supreme Court's finding that the old map was gerrymandered. The Supreme Court of Pennsylvania really wasn't focused on Democrat or Republican. They said that this was a partisan gerrymandered map and that really we should be designing our districts more along county boundaries and more with compactness and less concerned one way or the other with partisanship. When the state legislature failed to pass a new congressional map, the court imposed its own, creating six new districts in western Pennsylvania. The 13th that includes eastern Westmoreland County with no incumbent because Congressman Bill Schuster is retiring. The 14th in Green, Fayette, Washington and western Westmoreland with no incumbent, but where State Rep Rick Saccone and State Senator Guy Reschenthaler will battle for the GOP nomination. The 15th that includes Armstrong, Indiana and eastern Butler County, now part of Congressman Glenn Thompson's district. The 16th, that includes Lawrence, Mercer, and Western Butler County, represented by Congressman Mike Kelly. The 17th district, that includes much of Allegheny County, Butler County, and Cranberry, where Congressman Keith Rothfuss is expected to be challenged by Connor Lamb. The 18th district, wholly within Allegheny County, represented by Congressman Mike Doyle. We're fairly certain that we're now going to proceed with the, the new map. Now, these two court decisions today essentially mean the election this year for Congress will be in the new districts. Candidates have until tomorrow to file their nominating petitions to run. And the primary election will be as scheduled on Tuesday, May 15th, in just eight weeks. I reached out to the state Republican Party for a comment, but they say as yet they have no comment to make. Christine? All right. Thank you, John.